Moving to other news now, the city's Greenway Trail system is poised to take a big portion of the next five year bond program. Its development has been funded through a sales tax, but voters recently agreed to use that money for workforce training and transportation. So now the city is looking at paying for the development of more trails through the upcoming $1.2 billion bond program. Garrett Berger takes a look at what the trail system means to some of its users and how much would be needed to finish that project. Snaking around San Antonio, the Howard W. P. Greenway Trail System is a popular destination for runners and cyclists. It connects the city in a way that nothing else really does. Its winding wooded pathways allow for long rides far from busy streets. Today, probably maybe 20, 30 miles. The city says it's created 84 miles of Linear Creek Ray Trail so far, but there's still a long way to go before there's a full ring around the city, like the namesake of the trail system, former Mayor Howard Peake had imagined. The city says Bear County has already agreed to take on the development of almost 25 miles over the next decade. But that still leaves more than 45 miles to go, which could cost an estimated 200 million. The chairman of the Linear Creekway Parks Advisory Board says to his understanding that would complete the original vision of the loop, as well as some tributaries. But he doesn't see that being the end of the project. The more we build, the more opportunities for connections that we identify. And the more neighborhoods we can connect in, the more people we give an opportunity to utilize the system. And then it becomes more viable as an alternative transportation resource rather than just recreation. The city manager has said they need to throw at least $100 million toward the trail system in this bond to keep up the same pace. Though we'll see tomorrow how much city staff recommend putting into the program. For the trail users we spoke with, continuing to develop the Greenway system is important. It gets and encourages more people to get out, to live a healthier lifestyle, and just overall enjoy themselves. The only thing that would be more important would be more bike lanes uh, for us, because if you're not going to give us an option of the trail, then I would like to be safer on the road as well. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.